guys, Hilton Yam here of 108 Performance, back in the 108 Performance Lab. This episode, we're going to talk about one of my new Glock builds here. And, uh, you know, the, the greatest part about the Glock pistol platform is that, uh, much like Legos, they don't require a lot of effort to put together. Uh, so when you're, you're doing a quote unquote build, uh, you're really not building, you're kind of assembling it in the sense that uh, you don't have to fit any of the parts, but uh, it's a very fun aspect of the platform. And uh, you know what, I, I've done, done plenty of assembling and building as well. This build started its life as a Gen 4 Glock 19. Uh, I took the frame over to my buddy Ben Simonson at Boresight Solutions and had his crew uh, do their duty series grip reduction, which uh, basically is the removal of the finger grooves. Uh, they have uh, an undercut here and smoothing of uh, both the back strap and the uh, undercut in the trigger guard, texturing under the trigger guard, forward index points and just a really nice texturing uh, package overall. Uh, also, if you're a student of my classes, you get a discount over at Boresight, so check that out. Bottom of the grip wears an Overwatch Precision magazine well. Uh, they make, I think, the best magazine well, the fastest one for the Gen 3 and Gen 4 Glock 19, which unfortunately is uh, so far all they make uh, Magwell's 4, uh, but a fantastic setup with a nice trim profile and a huge gaping opening with a nice smooth radius at the back so there's no sharp corners to crash into. Uh, all of my guns have a SSVI tier trigger on there. My buddy Damon Young over at SSVI uh, does a fantastic job with these. I like the feel of the trigger. I like the profile rounded edges uh, a little bit flatter and the trigger reach is similar to the factory one so if i'm wearing gloves uh, it works really well for me those are my main reasons i also like uh, metal trigger in the glocks uh, because it takes away some of the the very slight flex that you get from a plastic trigger shoe uh, and just changes the feel of the trigger ever so slightly i uh, just just really like that uh, all of my frames wear a Glock extended factory slide stop. Uh, first got turned on to these when uh, I was issued one. I was uh, in the second class ever at the FBI Academy to be issued a Glock. It was a Glock 23 and up until then I really hadn't seen the uh, Glock extended slide stop and so I've been using one ever since. <laughs> Top of the gun is really uh, the star of the show here. We've got the Norso slide, which uh, has, uh, it's the EDC Reptile, and this one's finish is the Distressed Nitride. Uh, they tumbled the regular black nitride for kind of a stonewashed look. The EDC Reptile has a bunch of serrations on it, uh, but no actual holes uh, in it as compared to some of the other designs from Norso. The uh, top of it, we've got uh, 1080 Performance 395 tall, 140 notch uh, rear sight, which uh, allows for a lower one third co witness through an optic. We've got a hollow sun 507C here, and then a 315 tall uh, green fiber optic, uh, 1080 performance front sight, of course. Uh, I like the green fiber optic in the front. It's easy to pick out through the optic window if it's dirty or cracked or compromised, and then you don't have the issue either if you uh, were to use a red fiber optic your eye has to strain to figure out whether uh, you meant to look at the uh, red fiber optic dot or the red electronic dot so the green one uh, your eye is hunting for red electronic dot completely ignores the green unless you vi uh, visually focus on looking for green and then there it is and lastly, we've got um, KKM barrel here. Just happen to have one in the pile. Uh, they shoot well. Uh, they fit up nicely. It is, it's a drop-in barrel, though, so um, surprisingly, they managed to tighten up the tolerances, though, uh, with it just being a drop-in barrel. Uh, it shoots well enough. Factory Gen 4 guide rod and spring setup in there. Uh, factory firing pin. And then the rest of the fire control parts with the uh, connector and the firing pin block are from 
my good friends over at Apex Tactical. Apex Tactical is pretty much the only stop you need to make for fire control component upgrades for uh, for the Glock. Uh, that's, that's pretty much all I use in there. Uh, and then it also has one of the Apex extractors. So there's really not a lot of Glock in this Glock, just, uh, just the frame really, and uh, the firing pin. The main thing I wanted to talk about other than the cool conglomeration of all the parts was the Norso slide. So they're an outfit in Las Vegas and they scratch uh, build the slides. They machine them from uh, from bar stock and uh, their designs and the execution is just amazing. No excessive sharp edges on the thing, uh, but a lot of grasping surfaces, uh, like all the surfaces on the front to grab and uh, the serrations on the top also allow for a nice positive grip while press checking in different ways. And of course you can rack it uh, from the front and the rear. The top serrations, uh, they look cool uh, and they do help of course with the press checks, but I found them insufficient for using uh, just them against uh, like a table surface or something uh, that I had at the range uh, to rack the slide. However, there's this big giant optic in the back and that actually served really well as a uh, racking surface. So uh, I wouldn't call that a detriment that these serrations were not sufficient for uh, racking in and of themselves. The back of the slide has some nice geometric work on here, uh, which actually serves to make it uh, quite friendly and in appendix carry, uh, there's no offending sharp corners of the slide to uh, annoy you during a long day of, of carry. So there you have it, my Glock, which is mostly not a Glock. Um, handy little gun. Uh, Glock 19 has got to be my favorite of the Glock platform and uh, I'm super digging the uh, the Norso slide. I'm trying to figure out uh, what other versions of their stuff that I need to have on top of one of my Glocks. So uh, I'll have to go do some shopping and uh, until next time I am Hilton Yam of 10.8 Performance and remember only performance counts. <laughs>